Cereal? Wow, where'd you guys get cereal? Most kids grew up eating cereal before heading off to school or while watching their favorite Saturday morning cartoons, and have very fond memories of the stuff. Unfortunately, cereal is one of the most frequent victims of discontinuation. As a result, many of the cereals that people loved growing up are no longer being produced. It's time to reminisce with 10 discontinued cereals we miss. I'm so sorry, these must be very painful memories. Breakfast with Barbie. No more games, Ken! As one of the most popular toys of all time, Barbie has appeared in several movies, on half the t-shirts in the kids' section of Walmart, and even has her own shampoo. As a marketing tool, the doll is one of the most effective. Slap the Barbie logo on anything, and children everywhere clamor to buy it. But I want it now! Breakfast with Barbie made its debut in 1989, and while its Barbie theme made it uber appealing to kids, it also put considerable effort into pandering to parents. The box listed the cereal's several health benefits. It was lower in sugar than most other kids' cereal, it contained four wholesome grains, and no artificial flavors or tropical oils were used. The cereal itself came in various shapes, including hearts, cars, bows, stars, and the letter B with the colors of the pieces including yellow and several shades of pink. During the Got Milk campaign, Mattel released a Breakfast with Barbie doll in 1999. While the doll had no official ties to the fruit-flavored cereal, it would definitely be fun for kids to get to enjoy their favorite breakfast alongside their favorite doll. All I ever wanted was a ballerina Barbie. Ice Cream Cone Cereal. Do ice cream for breakfast? Yeah. It's got eggs, milk. Some cereals on this list had long runs and are looked back on with nostalgia by many. Others were discontinued before they ever really had a chance to make it. Unfortunately, Ice Cream Cone cereal falls into the latter category. Introduced and discontinued in 1987, this cereal had a run shorter than its shelf life. The pieces of this cereal were shaped like tiny scoops of ice cream and cones. While the ice cream scoops and the cones were separate, they actually fit together perfectly to form miniature ice cream cones. Lick, lick, lick. It's an ice cream cone. The optimal way to eat this cereal was to ensure that you got a mixture of ice cream and cones with each mouthful. Ice Cream Cone Cereal's animated mascot was a man named Ice Cream Jones, who, instead of driving an ice cream truck, delivered ice cream cones from his bike. The cereal was revamped in 2003 to honor the 100th anniversary of the ice cream cone, which is pretty cool, though the anniversary edition is no longer available either. However, all hope is not lost, as General Mills released Drumstick Cereal, which, while not similar in shape or appearance, is said to have a similar taste to the original Ice Cream Cone Cereal. We'll let you be the judge. First we get ice cream, and then I'm out. Rocky Road. Ah, oh, I love Rocky Road. Keeping with the theme of ice cream-inspired cereals, Rocky Road cereal drew its inspiration from one of the most beloved ice cream flavors of all time. The ice cream originated in 1929 and was named Rocky Road with the hopes of bringing some joy to people's lives after the stock market crash that led to the Great Depression. The ice cream flavor consists of nuts and marshmallows mixed into chocolate ice cream, and the cereal did a great job of emulating all the necessary components. Components. Rocky Road cereal was made up of chocolate and vanilla corn puffs, as well as marshmallows covered in a dusting of nutty chocolate coating. That's the most beautiful thing in the world. On the box was an illustration of the cereal's mascots, the Rocky Road Breakfast Band. The band members included a vanilla corn puff named Van, a chocolate corn puff named Choco, and a chocolate-covered marshmallow named Marsha. In the Rocky Road commercials, the animated band performed the cereal's jingle, which claimed that waking up to Rocky Road makes your breakfast sing. Rocky Road cereal was a huge hit in the 80s, but it was pulled from shelves because it contained too much sugar. When you consider the fact that it was based on an ice cream cream flavor, it's not too surprising that it didn't exactly make for a healthy, nutritious breakfast. Following that logic, it's also not surprising that kids everywhere were very upset when it disappeared from grocery store shelves. Their parents probably weren't too broken up about it, though. Mom, can I have ice cream for breakfast? No way, mister! Smurf Berry Crunch Smurfs and I grew to understand each other. They shared with me their art of picking Smurf berries. 
It seems that the key to a successful serial is to base it off of a popular movie or TV show. The Smurfs was a hit cartoon back in the day, and this serial rode that popularity to great heights. The serial first hit shelves in 1983, two years into the TV show's eight-year run. In the cartoon, Smurf berries are one of the primary sources of nutrition for the Smurfs. They're small, round berries which are harvested from bushes. While this serial doesn't actually contain Smurf berries, due to them being fictional and all, well, God. Its sweet, fruity flavors are designed to make it taste like it is. A follow-up cereal, Smurf Magic Berries, was released in 1987 and was very similar to Smurf Berry Crunch, except for the fact it contained star-shaped marshmallows alongside the berry-flavored cereal. With the trilogy of Smurfs films released in the past decade garnering decent success, it might be time to bring this cereal back for round two. Do not be fooled by their cuteness! Waffle Crisp I'm making waffles. When given the choice between French toast, pancakes, and waffles, everyone in their right mind would choose the latter option. Are you sure about that? So step aside, French Toast Crunch, and make room for Waffle Crisp. Waffle Crisp was composed of miniature versions of the breakfast food it aimed to emulate, in this case, waffles. Waffle Crisps. I mean, hands down, the best. The corn cereal pieces contained a maple flavoring in order to maintain the illusion that you're actually eating waffles drenched in syrup instead of settling for cereal. The most recognizable mascot for Waffle Crisp was Waffle Boy, an anthropomorphic waffle in red sneakers who bears a suspicious resemblance to the Mini Wheats mascot, but his predecessors were far more interesting. Originally, the cereal was advertised with a group of grandmothers who spent their days making waffles, implying that that each piece of the cereal was a homemade mini waffle. The wholesome group of grannies seems far more endearing than Waffle Boy, who is about as generic as cereal mascots get, but that's beside the point. Unfortunately, Waffle Crisps were indeed discontinued in 2018. We can already hear all of you saying that you just saw a box of Waffle Crisps at the store. Well, get them while they're still there, as yes, some stores still have them, as cereal has a very long shelf life. It appears to just be the final stock being cleared. All of that said, only time will tell. Please come back. Nerds. Welcome to nerd school. Nerd. Nerds are a small rock-like candy that come in boxes separated in two flavors, with the iconic pairing being grape and strawberry. If you were a kid at any point during the period of 1983 to present, odds are your childhood was ruled by these little guys. The candy is so great that in 1985, it was named Candy of the Year by the National Candy Wholesalers Association. They deserve it. They deserve it. If you take anything away from this video, let it be that if a candy movie, cartoon, or toy is successful, the next move is always to slap it on a cereal. And that's exactly what happened to Nerds in 1985. Just like the candy, Nerds cereal boxes were divided to hold two different flavors. The two pairings were orange cherry and strawberry grape. You could opt to eat one at a time, or you could live on the wild side and mix them together. If you wanted to enjoy both flavors without cross-contamination, you could purchase the Nerds cereal Nerdgate bowl. The bowl had had a division across the middle, so you could fill each half with its own flavor of cereal. The divider could then be lifted manually to let milk flow from one side to the other. We're sad to say that Nerd's cereal wasn't sold for very long before being discontinued. Luckily, there are still several flavors of Nerd candy to keep us satisfied. Well, that, that's something at least. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cereal. All right, an all-you-can-beat buffet. First, there were the comic books, then the cartoon, action figures, video games, movies, and, you guessed it, a cereal. The crime-fighting turtles named for Italian Renaissance artists took the world by storm during the 80s and 90s. And from 1989 to 1995, its cereal was a major hit as well. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cereal was composed of ninja nets, pieces of cereal that were netted in a way that resembles checks, and marshmallows, which came in various shapes and colors. Not long after the cereal's release, they added marshmallows in the shape of pizza slices, the TMNT's food of choice. It's pizza time. 
Additionally, several prizes could be found at the bottom of the box, including mini comic strips and a packet of green ooze, a sugary topping that you could drizzle on your cereal. Interestingly enough, although this cereal was available throughout the United States, it was very hard to find in Canada. Canadians weren't completely deprived, however, as they actually had a TMNT cereal of their own. The weird thing about that cereal was that all the pieces were Ninja Turtle green, which definitely isn't the most appetizing color out there. And for those of you thinking you just saw Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cereal at the store, what's being sold now is a reboot and is a far cry from the original. They look and taste nothing alike, have no marshmallows, and are just little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle face-shaped cereals. Such a disappointment. You got my baby girl's hopes up for nothing. Crunchy Stars. What's she serving? If the health inspector shows up, 10 to 15 years! Yeah. The Muppet Show was a revolutionary television series of the 70s, and this serial stars one of its most popular characters. The Swedish chef's skits are always a crowd pleaser, and using the character as the mascot for a food item was a genius move. Crunchy stars, Ooh, stars. Oh, yes. which of course is described by the Swedish chef as being cinnamonimoni, which for those of you not cultured enough to understand his highly sophisticated dialect means that it's deliciously cinnamon flavored. It actually sounds pretty similar to Cinnamon Toast Crunch in terms of both flavor and texture. On the back of every cereal box were a variety of puzzles and games. In keeping with the ridiculous nature of the cereal, many of them were actually unsolvable. This is both absolutely hilarious and slightly infuriating, but we love it all the same. Unfortunately, as great as the marketing was, this star-shaped cereal wasn't a hit. It was discontinued a year after its 1988 release and made a brief reappearance in 1992, before disappearing permanently. The popularity of the Muppets is timeless, so there's a chance that future attempts at creating another Muppet-themed cereal might someday be made. You know what, She's over bigger than that. Who cares? Sprinkle Spangles. It has sprinkles. This cereal wasn't a direct Aladdin product, but it came out at just the right time to bask in the hype surrounding the Disney movie. The Sprinkle Spangles cereal box depicts a genie who, other than the fact that he's purple instead of blue, bears a striking resemblance to the Aladdin genie character. Excuse me? <laughs> Are you looking at me? In the Sprinkle Spangles commercials, the Sprinkle Genie was voiced by Dom DeLuise and famous for saying, You wish it, I dish it. Released in the mid 90s, Sprinkle Spangles was nixed by 1998. Sprinkle Spangles stood out from the crowd because its pieces, which were shaped like stars with small holes in the middle, were covered in tiny, colorful sparkles. Sprinkles may be a great draw for the younger crowd, but the fact that parents might not be so into the idea of their kids consuming them for breakfast probably contributed to the cereal's downfall. The sweetened corn puffs were quite sugary, as is to be expected from any cereal targeting children, but also had a surprising and enjoyable crunch to them. Though the sprinkle-covered cereal had a short run, it still made a significant impact. May they be remembered forever. Pop-Tarts Crunch with butter. The most efficient way to summon 90s children is to say the word Pop-Tart three times in a row. During that decade, this jam-filled pastry was at the height of popularity, filling the role of breakfast, afternoon snack, and dessert for kids everywhere. Curious to see how the food item would fare in another form, Kellogg's decided to concoct a Pop-Tart cereal. The resulting product was Pop-Tart's Crunch, which was first introduced in 1994. It was available in frosted strawberry and brown sugar cinnamon, and each piece resembled a miniature Pop-Tart. Needless to say, the cereal was a hit. No one really knows why it was discontinued, but we can't say that anyone was all that happy about the decision. It's a travesty. If this was one of your favorite cereals back in the day, well, do we have some news for you. Pop-Tart Crunch is back, and feel free to hop in your car and head out to buy a box of this long-lost cereal. You never know when a discontinued food item from your childhood might make its return. Just drive slow, keep your eyes peeled. Spend more time with us by tapping on another one of these great videos. And to join our notification squad, just hit that subscribe button and ring that bell if you're checking us out for the first time.